Hello my loves. So Boyd and I are just about to go to Melbourne and I thought I would bring you guys along for the little trip. So we're going to go visit family for like two, three days and then we've got Boyd's VFL Best and Ferris on Monday night at Crown. So we're going to be getting all glam and getting my makeup done, my hair done. I've got a really nice dress that I'm hiring. So I thought I'd bring you guys along because it will be so much fun. But before I start the Melbourne vlog, I really want to show you something I just received a huge parcel from White Fox. We have genuinely an entire whole brand new wardrobe in here. So I thought I would do a try on haul and show you guys all the pieces I got because they honestly have everything at White Fox. They have like active swim, clothes, like lounge. They have everything. We love it. And also they have Afterpay as well. I've definitely been a bit of a sucker for Afterpay on White Fox in the past. And they've also got Express Worldwide Shipping. So no joke, whenever I order from them and I need something for the weekend, it comes so fast, which we love. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing I got are these jeans. Oakley's just having a little snooze. I love these so much. With my body shape, I really struggle finding jeans, but these are incredible. I'm really like, I did not think that these were gonna fit as good as this. Like, and they're long. These jeans are called the With You Wide Leg Low Rise jeans and they are stunning. Okay, I've also got my hands on a heap of tops. I'm going to try and match with these jeans. This top that I'm currently wearing is old white fox that I absolutely live in and love layering it in winter. But let's get into it. Okay, so this is called the Whatever Comes Bustier and it is so cute. It's like obviously like a little like corset style. It's got a little zip at the back, but it's like a stretchy fabric. So I don't feel like I can't like move. It's so cute. I love this little like pink bow here and it's got adjustable straps and I'm obsessed. I love it. Okay, I'm obsessed with this. This is called the Lay It Down Bustier in black. And how cool is it? It's got these little like, um, I don't know what it's called, but normally with these kind of tops, they're like so uncomfortable because they tie like super tight and you like can't breathe. But these ones are actually elastic. So I can like, like it's super tight. Every time I breathe, it like expands. This is so cool. Oh my God. I actually need to start like going out. We're only literally up to our third item and I am so in love. I feel like I have so many places to go now. Okay, now I knew I was going to be obsessed with this one when I saw it on the website. This is called the Something To Be Bustier in Blue Plaid. And I am so obsessed. I feel like this is not like my normal style, but it is so cute. And just looks so good with blue jeans. I am so obsessed. By the way, in all these tops, I've worn a size small so far. Pretty sure the rest are all small, but I'll keep you updated. Okay, now this one is so extra and I'm so here for it. So this is called the Love Galore Sequin Knit Top in Champagne. And it is like this gold. Oh, it is so cool. Okay, now I've held off showing you these because I wanted to wait till I was wearing this top because they match so well. But I got these cute little heels. They're called the Lena Heels in cream. And oh, you guys, these are the cutest things ever. Okay, now we're going to mix up the bottoms. I've just popped on this cute little white mini skirt. It's called the Just a Party mini skirt, obviously in white. I have a million white mini skirts, but I just keep buying them because it is all I live in in summer. So this is her. I love it. It's got this cute little like white detailing up here, zip on the side and such good length. Now we're going to put on a cute little top to match it. Oh my god, I am so obsessed with this. This is called the Stay By Your Side Top in Butter, aka in the cutest little baby yellow. So this is the front. So it's like little bow and little like lace detailing. And this is the best part. It's a halter. I love halter tops. This is so cute. And I could so match it with the leaner heels. Could I not? You know, this one was a risky one. I have never really been a big fan of the jorts trend, but I thought I'd give it a try because you can't you can't judge until you try. So these are called the Don't Trust Me Denim Shorts in Vintage Mid Blue. And I actually am a fan. I really like them. Like, anyways, in these ones, I sized up because I wanted them to be a little bit more low rise and loose. I have like 
muscly thighs so I didn't want my jorts to be like skinny jeans on my legs so I got medium and I feel like they're perfect I could probably even go a large to be honest but I am obsessed with them now we're gonna pair some cute little baby tees that I got my hands on guys I can't even explain how soft this tee is the fabric is like it's the same as that long sleeve I was wearing before and it's like literally feels like pajamas it is so soft it's called the two blessed tee I've got it in the gray and I've also got it in the steel which I'll show you soon but like Honestly, it just couldn't be any more perfect. I love it. Got them both in a size small. Everything so far has been in a size small except for the jorts that I sized up to a medium and everything has been a perfect fit. This is the same tee but in the steel color. And I love this color in literally everything. Okay, I have been so excited about this top. I've honestly never seen anything like it and it is like the cutest thing I've ever seen. It's called the It's a Love Story top in lemon. Only comes in one size because it's like a bit of a scarf top, but I'll show you. So this is like, oh, oh, I love it so much. And then the back, obviously like scarf top vibes, but it is so cute for like summer, spring. Oh, I love it. It looks so good with the denim. I'm going to be loving this and I think I want to buy it in literally every color. So the bottoms is called the Stay Up Late Mini Scort. I feel like I haven't worn a skirt since school, but I am obsessed with it. It's like this little, like, it looks like a mini skirt, but then it's got, like, little shorts underneath. So cute, like, tennis kind of vibe. And then I've matched it with the Better For It top, obviously, in white. Cute little bow, zip up at the back. So cute. Okay, and then I have a little something to match this outfit because it's, like, a white and navy. So I've got this little navy bag. This is called the Kinsley Shoulder Bag in denim. And I can't, it is so cute. And then it also comes with the longer like chain strap if you want to have a longer one. But I am so obsessed. I love like denim bags and they look so cool. And like matching this with like the same color denim jeans to die for. So cool, I love it. Okay, now the last outfit is a dress and this is very cute. It's giving sort of like races kind of vibe. This is called the Sugar and Spice Lace Mini Dress in black. And it is very cute. I don't have anything like this. I got a size small in this one. It definitely fits perfect, but I probably could have gone a size up just to make it a little bit longer because I am a tall girl. But then at the same time, I feel like you could get away with like some black knee highs. Also, before we end the haul, just quickly, my discount code for White Box is OMAY, O-M-A-Y. I'll put it on the screen for 15% off, excluding sale and collabs. And happy shopping. We are at my family home in Melbourne and this is my family dog, Skipper! out for dinner in Oakley we're getting Greek so like souvlakis and cheese and dip and lots of lamb and meat and stuff <laughs> Good morning, happy Monday. So I'm just on my way to the arts track. I'm, I'm going to my local arts track in Melbs where I pretty much like started track and everything in lockdown. So that'll be fun. And then I'm gonna, so I've gotta do my Monday session obviously cause it's Monday at the track. And then I'm gonna do my Tuesday gym session straight after because tomorrow after the event tonight, we're pretty much like flying all day. I have like a midday flight. I'll be staying in the city tonight. So training in the gym is gonna be hard and I also don't know what time we're gonna get home and we'll have to leave for the airport around like nine I assume so I'm just gonna do a double today because I've got the whole morning to myself before I get my makeup done at one so I'm excited I always get so excited going to the gym in Melbourne for some reason like okay first start for the session forgot it's also deload week so I'm backing it off a little bit like I did do less reps of my 60s and stuff so I hope that's what I'm supposed to do um, and my whoop stats are really bad today, so it's already told me that I've hit my day strain goal and I've only done my warm-up. <laughs> So 
So I just popped home quickly to refresh myself and like fix my hair and everything and grab some more caffeine because I can. But um, basically, deload week is for running, and then for gym, I have reload week. So it's not really well, it's not really a reload, but every third week, my sets go up. So I instead of doing three of everything, I do four of everything. So it's a little bit higher. It's high volume. Normally, same reps, same weight, maybe a little bit heavier, but oh, I thought I had it easy today. I don't. Oh, all right. Let's go. Also, I'm pretty sure the gym I'm going to doesn't have half the equipment I need. So I'm going to have to like make things up as I go because it's so hard to find a gym with a trap bar, a GHD that isn't like a CrossFit gym with classes. Like I just want a commercial. It's hard. <laughs> guys that actually sucked it was one of those sessions where like i was mentally switched on but my body was just like no not today so my deadlift i got nowhere near my target weight at all um and i had to use like a different hex bar to normal normally like the one at the gym like they've got um sports tape wrapped around the handle so it's like really good on your hands this one like i don't think gets used very much so it was so rough i had to use straps which i like never use for my deadlifts um, and the height that I was like lifting it off the ground was like a lot lower. So it was obviously harder, but it was just like bad. But we hit a PB on our step up. So we did hundred kilos today. I feel like I could have done more as well. And I forgot my lifters, which I normally wear. So I had to wear my new balances and I actually didn't feel that bad. Um, but yeah. And then after I feel like I was switched on and then I did really bad at my deads and then I was just switched off. Cause I was like, no, nah, not today. So now I'm going to go drop my mum's car off at the tyre repair place because we got a flat tyre yesterday and I'm driving around on an almost flat tyre. So I need to drop that off, go home, eat, have a shower and get ready for my makeup in two hours. It's all getting real. So exciting. Can't wait to bring you guys along. This is my before. About to catfish you all. Makeup is done. Got it done by Ariel Ray Beauty, my gal. So if you need your makeup done in Melbourne, go see her because she is the best. Um, now I am on my way back home. Mum is doing my hair today. We're doing a little like half up, half down, curled sort of vibe. And then I'll pack my bags and get ready to go to the new hotel. See you at home. This is my hairdresser. Oh, don't you get me. <laughs> it's a little better than that. <laughs> Like I have some hair if I'm a hairdresser. Mom, it doesn't matter. It does. It doesn't matter. Oi! We are ready. What? Oh, no. Yeah. How good is the view in Melbourne? It's very uh, I love dark. Melbourne. I love Melbourne. We love Melbourne. Night over, board can second. Death taxes coming second. I'm team with really yeah. There he is. Yeah. Good night. Oh! Good morning. We've woken up in Melbourne. Drinking my greens from a mug, packing our stuff, and getting ready to go back home to the Gold Coast. So I can't go a day without having my overnight oats, so. When we stay at the Ibis and they don't have um, knives, this is how I have to cut my fruit. This is what's fit for the plane. Choose your Sam. <laughs> really not sure about my busy shorts. Um, and the green hat. Thanks. And the black socks with the white slides. Um, press ground, please. Okay, bye. Thanks for watching our vlog. <laughs>